guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're in Nashville at Summer NAM 2016, talking to Mitch Colby. Mitch, you've got two brands. You own the rights to, <clears throat> excuse me, last day of M, man, my <laughs> voice is going. You own the rights to Park Amplification now, which uh, people who know Vintage Amps know that's a storied brand. You've got your own line of Colby Amps, and right now we're hearing your uh, basically like a hand-wired champ, right? That's basically that. It's called a little darling, and it's uh, my take on that uh, classic three-tube, you know, five Y three, six V six, twelve AX seven amp. There's a, a lot of them out there, uh, vintage ones from a lot of different companies. Fender Tweed, one being one of them, and uh, yeah, it's with my mods and uh, new old, with uh, Allen Bradley resistors, nice caps, good transformers, really high quality, and a Weber speaker. So high-end components. Um, how does in 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 caveman terms for me and probably a lot of our audience, what, how would you contrast how the circuit is different from like a, a blackface champ? Okay, it's more like a tweed. And, okay. uh, but anyway, um, a lot of those amps, uh, when you, when you, they don't have much of a clean sound. There's not enough high frequencies there, so I added some high frequencies to the clean sound. And then when you overdrive it, they typically, uh, the, the bottom end gets flubby and the top end gets fizzy. So I basically what solve those problems still using one knob to control it's just the volume control so when we came in you had the volume pretty far up about what three o'clock yeah it's on uh, 10 out of 12 and uh, that's way you about where you want it with a humbucker with a single coil you might want to put it all the way up yeah crank it all the way and then uh, we, we can bring it down so you can hear it you know clean what would be something you'd use in your bedroom for practicing or for recording and then we'll crank it so you could hear the overdrive for it. So this is with it at about 10 o'clock, 9.30? Right. I notice it's also different, if correct me if I'm wrong, that it has two inputs, high and low impedance, right? Uh, the old ones? No, the old ones did. Did they? Yeah. I must be thinking of the... The, the old ones also had the, uh, the uh, on-off switch on the volume control, and uh, that can cr cause problems in itself in creating some hum, so I put the on-off switch separately and the fuses on the bottom, so it's a high-quality amp, you know, everything's high-quality, switches, tubes, tube sockets. Which Weber speaker is in there? I'm using the Blue Pup, 8-inch Blue Pup. Is that a ceramic magnet? No, it's Alnico. Okay. All right, so... Did you hear it cranked? Sure. All right. So that's on again about uh, 3 o'clock. <laughs> satisfying to play. It's got a little bit of compression to it. So it's a fun amp to play. What happens when you just really dig in? Like I, okay, when and you get just, the and just smack it. Yeah, it, with a humbucker, and these are not very high output humbuckers, but it'll, it'll compress a little bit, a little bit more. Sounds really good. Um, so, so we got a keep moving along here because you have uh, three other amp designs, right? We're going to just hear the top park here, right? Right. This is a new park amp. It's called the Little Rock. And uh, uh, last year I introduced an amp called the Little Head. And that was basically a uh, like a preamp from the 45, which is the standard four input, two channel, uh, early British amp that we all know and love. Uh, but it's, eight, it's 18 watts approximately, depending on which tubes you use. And you can change tubes from 6V6s. Six uh, L6s and the L34s, you change the power. This one also has a switch on the front for a tube or solid state rectifier. And, uh, you know, depending on if you have an overdrive sound or a clean sound, uh, you might want to use one or the other. And also, this one has uh, two push pull switches on it. One is for cascading the two channels if you want really higher gain, and the other one is for more or less aggressive, I call punch. Cool. And what's this one called again? I can hardly hear it's loud in here. Yeah, it's loud. Um, it's called a little rock as opposed to the little head. 
So Mitch, what are we going to hear? It, what, what's it set at right now? It's set at a clean setting. Um, and this is with what? Power tubes? Oh, this is as uh, EL34s now, and it, I'm, I have it on uh, tube rectifier. Okay. Cool. Let's hear it. Sweet. Now, do you want to switch it to any other settings for us? Sure. Well, it's got a master volume, and we can stay in this setting and just bring up the gain. I like to boost the mids when I do that. And then there's another setting, we have a push-pull like I said before, and uh, we pull that out and it'll cascade the two channels, one into the other for higher gain. Cool. And all of that was with the uh, tube rectifier, right? Yes. Do you want to show us what it sounds like real quick with the solid state? Okay. So it's a little punchier and more brash and Exactly. Right. The voltage jumps up about 30 volts, so it's it's punchier. You have more attack on the notes. Cool. So how much is this going for? This is 2,700. Okay. Is that list or street price? That's, uh, that's list. Street price is basically the same thing. Cool. And what about the uh, the little guy, the little darling? The little darling. I haven't finalized that, but it'll be somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200. Okay. So Mitch, where should people go online to find out more about all the stuff you're doing? Okay, there are two websites. There's a park site, and that's parkamplifiers.com. And then the Colby site is colbyamps.com. And uh, we also have two other new products. And when you go to the website, in a few days, I'll have new information up on those. One is the Big Note 100, and the other is a limited edition 50 watt with new old stock parts and Marin transformers. Cool. So two other park heads to check out on parkamplifiers.com. Exactly. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks right, for thank watching, you, guys. Sir. You're welcome. Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.